let's see what we need a, a cord gotta have a cord man and I need something to I don't want the cord to pull that thing off in the floor so hopefully this stuff works and uh, we don't have any problems here to have to fight which well, it's, it's quiet if it works Yes, sir. That's the tone. And the volume. Of course, we'll have to ground everything out once we get it in there and start. Well that's good. It, man, that's really, I'm pleased to know that all that works. It's good, good to know. Very good to know. Uh, i got to get rid of the soldering iron here. And, hold on, I'll bring you back in a second. Get, clear some of this stuff out. Hold on. I'll show you in a few minutes what's going on. I've just been taking uh, a toothpick. Of course, the screw holes don't line up with the new keys. I got the new keys, by the way. And the screw holes don't line up with the new keys. So, well, one screw hole does. So, what I've been doing is taking. Uh, toothpicks <laughs> okay sticking a toothpick down in uh, tight bond get a little glue on the end of the toothpick and it fits perfectly down in these old screw holes and I'm just uh, Filling those old holes with toothpicks and some more glue. And I'm going to use the one hole that does line up. There's one hole that lines up with the new keys. I've got one more there. And it uh, is going to be the... I can't break it off. Hmm... There we go. This bottom left hole lines up with the uh, the new keys. I'm going to show them to you in just a minute. Hold on. Welcome back, folks. Got these in the mail today. Brand new, shiny, very oily keys. Very nice. We just decided to replace all four. I was having a rough time finding the uh, one key. And got a really good deal on all, the whole set. Really good keys, nice keys. The only problem is these ferrules, okay? The outside diameter, or OD, is bigger than the ferrules that are already in there. So, I can't use these ferrules. And I don't know what the hell they've got here. A bag inside of a bag. Oh, man. Too old and blind for this. These. Okay, the outside diameter is too big to go down in these keyholes. But the inside diameter is exactly the same as the uh, 
the peg shaft here is. So we're good to go there. I, I have to use the old, the old, uh, we use those new screws, but I have to use the old uh, ferrules. But by the inside diameter being the same as these keys are, then, man, those things are slippery. Slippery when wet. You can see that peg fits into into the uh, ferrule just perfect, man. So I can use those ferrules there. They're kind of rusty. I tried to clean them up, but that's as good as it gets. But anyway, I got to drill new uh, keyholes. As you've seen, I plugged those all off with uh, toothpicks, and it's going to work. It's going to work just fine. Uh, get a drill here, get to everything I need, we'll drill these things out, and uh, get the keys on this thing. Hold on. Oh yes. I've just uh, put them on there. Like I said, there was one hole that lines up, okay? So I lined that one hole up, put all the keys on. Uh, got a bit here with a piece of tape on it. So I can... Uh, get my depth right not drill too deep or through the other side you want that Man, these screws are tiny. I'm going to use those last. If I have to use them at all. Perfect. Perfection. Doesn't happen often enough, does it? Ah, oh, come on, baby. Brand new keys. Yeah, man. Somebody's changed these keys a bunch of times, too, because there were all kinds of drill holes underneath these the old ones that I took off. Lots of drill holes in the, under there. Okay. More screws. We almost have new keys, folks. The old base almost has new keys.
very careful where I drill these on this last one. Anyways. We be rocking. Come here, little screwdriver. Uh. Folks, cue ball has made the scene. She's made the scene, I'm telling you. She's here. You know what that means? Anything could happen. Can you dig it? Anything can happen when that chick shows up. <laughs> Cue ball head. I know you new subscribers probably don't know. Well, look what I found. Check that out. It's the end of that screw. The screw head. But that's for another day, another video. Uh... I'm going to have to use some of these bigger screws because all the screws are not here. So I guess I'll use one right right here. God, that, that looks awful big. It's going to be all good. going to be all okay, I think. And we are going to have brand new keys. Yes, sir. couple of screws, different screw heads than the rest, but there she is. Yeah, boy. Man, they lubricated those things up really nice. That's a, uh, it looks like good quality keys. I'm gonna check these just to be sure. Ah, they're loose. Should be a little bit loose, but not that loose. That one's okay. That one's a little bit loose. These just need to be snug. You know what I mean? If you tighten them, over tighten them, then you can't turn the key. That might be a little tight on that E string. Ah, oh, yes. Much better. No better. All right, let me pause the camera and we'll uh, take a closer look. Oh, I didn't know you was back, baby. All right, here we go. And there we have brand new keys. Now see what I mean? I had to use those old ferrules. It would have looked much nicer if I could have put the new ferrules in there, but it wouldn't fit. I could drill the holes out bigger, I guess, but I don't know, man. This is this is okay the way it is. Everything's all good. They work nice, man. Good tuners, good quality tuners. I'm really impressed with the oil on those. I mean, that was a good a good call and it'll lubricate them too so we got the keys on it we're ready there I gotta get a nut for this I'll probably just cut one out probably out of bone I'll have to check with the owner see if he wants to if it matters to him what the frets look good on it I don't know you probably can't see them but they're really dirty 
So I'll polish the frets up good for him. They don't need any fret work. And like I say, I want to clean all this out. It's got a lot of dust and just crap in there. And I want to shield all of that before I put the electronics in. We know the electronics work now anyways. And uh, kind of give you an idea maybe now. So, sort of start getting, boy this is a big bastard. Start getting an idea of what it looks like and what it's going to look like. Of course if you've seen the Music Master Fender bass you know, already know what it looks like. <laughs> but uh, yeah baby it's coming. Slowly but surely. Next video we will uh, put the shielding in. Um, I got to get a set of strings. I got to find out what kind of nut he wants in it. And uh, what gauge strings, I don't know if he likes light, medium, or heavy, or what kind of strings he's into. But I'll find all that stuff out. And uh, next video, we'll probably finish this thing up on the next video. So thanks guys for watching, and gals. Appreciate you tuning in. Thanks to the subscribers, the new ones, uh, and the old ones for hanging around. And uh, look forward for uh, more stuff to come from the house. That never sleeps. I'll see you on part two, if not before. Cheers. Come here, little screwdriver.